Hi, now here we have an example based on finding tangents to curves and using the chain rule. So let's just see what we've got. We've got the curve C has equation y equals all of 2x minus 3 to the power 5. And we're told that the point P lies on the curve C and has coordinates w and then minus 32. And what we've got to do is to find in part A the value of w and in part B the equation of the tangent to the curve C at the point P in the form y equals mx plus C where m and C are constants. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go and haven't done so already, do come back when you're done and uh, you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, so let's just see how we do this. Well, first of all, if we've got a point, we're told, that lies on a curve, this point must satisfy our equation. So all we've got to say is that when x equals w, y equals minus 32. And substitute these values then into our equation and we've therefore got minus 32 equals 2w minus 3 all to the power 5. Now if we take the fifth root to both sides we would therefore have 2w minus 3 equals the fifth root of minus 32. And what is the fifth root of minus 32? Well, it's minus 2. So you've therefore got 2w minus 3 equals minus 2. Add 3 to both sides, you get 2w equals 1. And then divide both sides by 2, and you end up with w equaling a half. All right, so uh, that's our first part then, part A. Let's just border this off here. Now, for the second part, part B, we've got to find out the equation then of the tangent to the curve C at this point P. In the form y equals mx plus C, well, what we're going to need to do, first of all, is find out the gradient at any point on our curve. And to do that, we need to differentiate it. So let's just take our curve again. And that is y equals 2x minus 3 to the power 5. Now, to differentiate something like this, we use the chain rule. And I'm assuming you're familiar with the chain rule. Okay. If not, what I'll do is I'll give you a brief reminder at the end of the video, okay, just to save a bit of time. So you can always fast forward to the end if you want to just check it out. But what I'm doing is I let t essentially equal 2x minus 3 to the power 5. And I work out what we call dy by dt, first of all. So if I've got y equals t to the power 5, I would end up with 5t to the power 4, t being 2x minus 3. And that's the power 4. And then I multiply by dt by dx, t being 2x minus 3. So if I differentiate that respect to x, I get 2. And tidying this up, I get 5 times 2, which is 10. And then that's 2x minus 3, all to the power 4. But as I say, I'd run through that in detail at the end of the video. So all I need to do now is just find out the gradient at the point P. That's when x is equal to w, w equaling a half. So when x equals one half, what we've got is therefore that gradient dy by dx is equal to 10 multiplied by two times a half, and then minus 3, and all of this is to the power 4. 2 times half is 1, minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 to the power 4 is 16, times by 10, and you're going to get 160. Well, that's quite a steep gradient, actually, 160. You don't often come across things like that. But uh, anyway, what we've got here is, therefore, the equation of the tangent 
Okay, just write this intro here. Therefore, equation of tangent at P is, okay, and what is it going to be? Now, it might say write it in the form y equals mx plus c, but what I'm going to use is the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are w and minus 32 respectively. So what we've got here is therefore we've got y minus y1 minus minus 32 equals m the gradient which we've seen is 160 and that's multiplied by x minus x1 and x1 is w, w being a half. Let's just border this off so if we just carry on down then what we have got is tidying this up we therefore have y plus 32 equals we'll expand the bracket we've got 160x minus 80 and if I subtract 32 from both sides I therefore have y equals 160x and minus 180 minus 32 gives me minus 112. Okay, so there's our equation of our tangent then in the form y equals mx plus c. Now, I did say that I would show you how we can differentiate this by using the chain rule. So, we'll just come down here and you should be familiar with the chain rule. There's plenty of tutorials on my website though, examsolutions.net, on this if you're still unsure. In our, what we've got basically is that if you're finding dy by dx, it is the same as dy by d something times the same d something by dx, okay? And I'm choosing dt here. It's as if these two cancel one another out. And so what we've got here is y equaling 2x minus 3 all to the power 5. And what I did was let 2x minus 3 be equal to t. So therefore y would be equal to t to the power 5. So let's just say where t equals 2x minus 3. So when it comes to working out dy by dx, we therefore have dy by dx is equal to, and it's dy by dt. So if I differentiate this with respect to t, I end up with 5t to the power 4. And then I need to multiply this by dt by dx. Well, if I differentiate t with respect to x, it's going to be equal to 2. So what I've got here is 5 multiplied by 2x minus 3 to the power 4 multiplied by the 2. And that's how I reason this out. Okay? Well, I hope that's given you some idea then over this question.